Shelly and Fraser Price aims for 10.40 run and a fifth world title. But is either even possible? Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go in and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts. Do you think it's possible that the GOAT, the great one herself, Shelly and Fraser Price, the world's third fastest woman all time and the second fastest woman alive, could she actually run a 10.40 or a 10.50 sometime this year? Or can she successfully defend her world championship title over the 100 meters? Are you ready? Yes! Good to go! Four-time world 100 meters champion Shelly Ann Fraser Price says she will be taking a much smarter approach to her season this year as she looks to defend her 100 meter title at the World Athletics Championships in Eugene, Oregon in the United States in July. The multiple Olympic and World Championship medalist uh, said that she is very focused on winning her fifth 100 meter title and therefore she plans to limit the number of races that she will be competing in this year. A point that we made in an earlier video about Shelly and Fraser Price uh some time ago fraser price made these pronouncements after her season opener in the 200 meters at the velocity fest 11 last saturday watch We here at Peter Lloyd World took pains to point out that she pretty much stopped running when she came off the curve and by 30 meters out she was in shutdown mode and 10 meters from the line she pretty much just stood still. Um, but she explained. Now, Fraser Price ran a time of 22.79 as her season opened in the 200 meters. Autonique Strawn um, from the Bahamas ran 22.55 to win. Natasha Morrison ran 23.06. Forbes ran 23.07. Uh, McGregor ran 23.51. I thought she looked really, really good and relaxed. In her interview with Press right after this run, she went on to state, As you know, I am looking forward to going to Paris 2024 Olympics. And so I want to make sure that I'm very cautious in the amount of races that I run. And of course, I aim to defend the title in Oregon, she said. Price, that is Shelly and Fraser Price, has a personal best over the 200 meters of 21.79. And of course, who could forget this remarkable run in um, Lausanne last year?
won this race in an in an earth shattering time of 10.60 her fastest time to date at the age of then age 34 we believe with her uh, coach walcott she seems to be doing the right things and she is probably just only going to get faster at age 35 for this season mentally i'm up for anything once i'm in good shape and as you know i'm looking forward to go to paris <laughs> so i have to make sure that i'm very cautious in the amount of races i run and of course the goal is to defend the title you set those kind of goals for yourself because it's something that i'm attempting and last year if there was one month before I opened with 23 and I went on to run 21.7. So later start of the season and I ran 22.7. So I'm feeling good. Now we are big fans of Shelly and Fraser Price here at Peter Lloyd World, but she has to get past this young lady, Sharika Jackson, and definitely has to get past this young lady, Elaine Thompson Hera. I do think she's capable of doing both. I know something gonna be this is gonna be controversial. She went on to state in the interview, she said, after having the season last that season last year, I ha it has definitely opened a new door for me in terms of the dreams and the goals that I'm chasing for the season. She said, I'm definitely looking forward to running 10 point, 10 point five and possibly 10.4. So that's the aim, Fraser Price said. I think I'm on my way to doing that. I just have to continue to trust that God will give me the strength and the trust in the coach and just continue to put in the work, Fraser Price said. Once you are training and you are doing well, you set those kinds of goals, as you heard her say earlier on. So let's address the second part of the heading um, in this video. Can she possibly, I mean, is either goal achievable? Go on, can she run 10.40 or 10.50? Look, people, she ran 10.60 um, at 34 years of age. In fact, last year, she ran her two fastest 100 meters all time, 10.63 and then 10.60. And then she and she also ran that 10.79. I think she's on the right path. And I, it's, I've said it in several videos. All they have to do is manage her time. She's older, so it's like working out, okay? I like working out. I hit the gym often. So what you can, when you can do at 20, you can't really do it at 35 or 40. So um, they're just managing her time. And she said it point blank. You heard her in the interview. You heard out of her own mouth saying that they don't have to be cautious. She's going to run less races. And I'd stated as much in previous videos that I'm pretty sure that's what they're going to do. I think she can run a 10.5. I genuinely think that. I think I've stated that publicly. The 10.4, I'm not sure about that. That's to me, is highly ambitious, but it's not impossible. I believe either herself or Elaine can possibly run that 10.5. I'm almost certain that they can actually do that. Well, I mean, Elaine has already done 10.5. So I believe that. I believe categorically that Shelly and Fraser Price can definitely run and probably will run 10.5 this year. I believe both ladies push, push each other and Fraser Price team, they're very clever about what they're doing. And there's a lot of head games going on here, people. We're going to talk about that in some, in some time to come. But yes. Now, defending that 100 meter title, after seeing um, Lausanne last year, she can do it. If Elaine falters in those blocks and Shelly Ann, who looked, I mean, like I said, looking at her at Velocity Fest, she looked frightfully good. I'm mean, like, like she's, she was on point easily. I mean, she could have run a 20. I think she could have run a 20. She could have equaled her PB if she really pushed herself and probably, and this is her first opening race. She just looked that good. So, hmm. I think if she gets her to the block fast enough and if Elaine falters, it's game over. She will win that world title. And this is going to be, this is going to be, you know, we're going to all, at the end of the day, say, wow, we were here to watch this momentous race. So yeah, I think she can run that 10.5. I'm not sure about the 10.4. I think under the right circumstances, she can possibly beat Elaine and win that title. I need to know your thoughts. What do you think? Do you think she is just being overly ambitious? Look, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow here at Peter Lloyd World. The goal now is 20,000 subs. Go and hit the notification bell. Hit the like button, people. And please leave your comments. You are kings and queens. Bless up.